I'm JT Masit with Car Remix Concrete Association or CRMCA. I'm here to talk about the procedures involved in the Concrete Field Testing Technician Grade 1 certification for ACI. ASTM C172 is the standard for obtaining and preparing concrete samples to be tested. We're going to go over the sampling procedures prior to testing. These procedures are not going to go over word for word because you can study them in your workbook under the performance checklist section. For concrete sampling, the appropriate containers should be used. Ideally, a wheelbarrow is easily the best option for sampling. It is a large container, and the full amount of the sample can be collected. If no wheelbarrow is available, multiple five gallon buckets or feed buckets can be used for the samples. Having a concrete tub in the field is helpful and strongly encouraged at your testing location to mix the samples together. As always, let me remind you that as I lead through ACI certifications in Colorado, I get asked the question about what videos or trainings to go through and understand that these don't replace your training at your company. They are useful tools, but understand they should be up to date. So within the last couple years, this one should be too. There are five types of equipment concrete samples can be taken from. Stationary mixers, paving mixers, revolving drum mixers, continuous mixers, and open top mixers. Before sampling, make sure all water and admixtures have been added and mixed into the batch. If after sampling, additional water or admixtures are added in the mixer truck, Disregard your sample and take a new sample. At sites with a stationary or revolving drum mixer, the concrete sample should be taken at two or more equally spaced locations in the load. The samples should also be taken from the middle of the batch, after the first 10% or before the last 10% of the truck load. At the end of the chute, the samples should be taken either by diverting the chute to the container, likely a wheelbarrow, or passing the containers or buckets through the entire stream. Behind a paver and paving mixer, allow the concrete to be discharged onto the ground, then take samples from at least five different locations within the pile representing the entire batch. When strength specimens are required and needed to be cast, a minimum of one cubic foot of material should be sampled. Make sure to account for the number of specimens the project requires. Keep in mind the concrete used to perform ASTM C231 air content by the pressure method cannot be reused for other testing, especially creating strength specimens. If only performing check tests, where no cylinders are being cast, a smaller sample can be obtained. Once all the individual samples are taken, they need to be remixed and combined using a shovel or large scoop. This is where having a wheelbarrow or a concrete tub is useful. Do not perform tests out of the individual buckets separately. If the mix has larger aggregate than is appropriate for the test equipment or cylinder molds, wet sieving should be completed. Most standard equipment used is not appropriate for aggregate larger than one and a half inches. The individual samples need to be collected within 15 minutes of each other. As an example, if you take your first sample from the truck and the contractor decides to maneuver the truck, you have 15 minutes to get a second sample from the load. If it takes longer, new individual samples have to be taken. Testing should start within five minutes after the last individual sample is collected. Casting cylinders or beams must happen within 15 minutes after combining the individual samples. At most, it takes 30 minutes from the time the first sample portion is taken and the creation of test specimens. Ideally, the entire process should be completed in less than 15 minutes. During the testing process, the combined sample must be protected from sun, wind, evaporation, and contamination. To do this, cover the sample with burlap or other non-absorbent covering, or prepare your testing area appropriately, such as using shade from a side of a building or wall. Sampling is a procedure that is taken lightly all too often. As with all other concrete procedures, sampling should be performed consistently. Yes, sampling should be done swiftly, though conscious effort needs to be considered for the samples being taken as well. 
If you have any questions or comments, please email us at aci at coloradocaa.org and we'll do our damnedest to answer your questions and help you out as best we can.